The last piece to the puzzle of Trip's tight end, in my opinion, is its ability to attack the seams in the middle of the field and to attack vertically uh, is super, super important in Madden. You have to have a plan for how you're going to attack deep down the field uh, in a vertical style passing concept. So uh, this is also really good for attacking any kind of double flat zones as well as really any zone coverage as well. Um, it just does a really good job of attacking vertically. And we're going to show you some nuances that you can actually uh, kind of come to the table with. It, it can attack man really well. It can attack zone. You can literally attack everything with this concept. So um, we're going to be in the play verticals out of trips, but you can actually create the concept in a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you one of the real glitchy things, um, in my opinion, that that trip side in has that really no other formation has, um, not no other formation, but no other formation has it as good as trips. And that's this, um, it's ability to attack the seam area of the field with these two receivers. Um, so this play verticals, again, if you want to get my entire trip side in ebook links in the description, Patreon, 10 bucks gets you access to everything. All ebooks, all updates to those ebooks, over 25 different ebooks in there today. And we're dropping brand new ebooks this week. So make sure you're a Patreon member if you're not yet. Um, but let's talk about this. So, seams. If we want to attack the seams, we can utilize two key players. And we can actually utilize the tight end as well. Um, what I would recommend is streaking the tight end. I think this is a really good setup um, for attacking the seam area of the field. And then you have this left side. So this left side, you see here, see how the zones just drift away from that number two receiver? That's cover four. We can run through all of them, right? Uh, here's cover three. Again, I'm not making, I'm just calling verticals. I'm not gonna make any adjustments. You see here, I can just, I'm not gonna free form it. I'm just getting them the ball. I just wanna get them the ball as quick as possible in the seam area of the field every single time. So that's cover four. Let's go over cover two. Cover two, um, you'll see here if I look, okay, oh, he's in the middle. But then if I wait just a little bit, I've got a touchdown, as you can see right here. Now, what about cover two? Like, let's say the cover two, um, there's two different styles of cover two. So let's say that the cover two is something like this, um, where the middle linebacker is dropping deep. You'll see here, I can freeform that. I'm not freeform that, but I can kind of get that to him still. Um, it's a little bit difficult, as you can see, that vert hook is in the area. Um, but you can, I mean, there is actually a, a small window, like, right there as you see right there okay so you want to wait just a little bit for that vert hook to drift inside and then you can hit that but the better version is when they are running some type of cover to mabel right like this this is really good because you'll see here boom easy read simple 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 okay but the beauty of this play is let's say so not only can we do it with that number two receiver, right? Because that's easy. They could just man him up. But we could actually do this with every receiver. So this is cover four drop. What we're going to do is we're going to go to any play. It doesn't matter the play. It can be verticals. It can not be verticals. It can be P. It, can, it doesn't matter. We're going to streak Edelman. We're going to flat Kirk. We're going to streak our outside trips receiver. And we're going to streak our tight end. So you see here, again, just three seam read streaks, basically. Uh, and this this route to Kirk can be honestly anything, okay? Um, the key is to have at least two streaks. So what you'll see here is, boom, easy read, okay? If they want to run cover three, um, and this is really really valuable for any kind of cover three, any kind of pressure, any kind of quick quick pressure. This is good against. So again, boom boom. You could even leave this guy on the left side. You could either put you could even put him on a drag if you wanted to, but watch this. Boom, clears the yellow, easy read. So this just crucifies zone coverage. I mean, it just really messes zone up. Um, what if they run like cover two? This is also really good. So what if they run cover two and they actually put the middle, the middle third defender up there? So this is actually really good for that cover two situation. You can throw that right in that little seam, easy. But the other thing that you can do against cover two that you can't do out of verticals necessarily, I mean, you can kind of do it out of verticals. It's just not as good out of verticals. So if they are running, you know, something like this, what you have on the left side is this freeform up and out, and you're going to bomb cover two on the sideline. 
just like you're going to bomb it in the middle of the field. So if they start getting into this no, double Mabel stuff, it's really not a great strategy for them, as you can see, because um, because of what we're able to do with these with these um, you know these seam routes. Now, how do these work against man? A couple different things you can do um, if you're trying to attack man coverage with this. This route to the left side receiver is one of the best routes in the game uh, for attacking press man to man. As you can see right there, he almost always gets really glitchy separation against man. What I would do with that outside guy is put him on an actual streak. If they are in press man, I would definitely put him on an actual streak. And what you'll see is he will clear uh, press man to man. Okay. Now, the other thing you have against man to man coverage with something like this is depending on it depends on what you want to do with your tight end, but your crosser will beat man uh, over the middle of the field, as you can see. The part of the reason why I like to streak the tight end um, is mainly because if they do run a cover two Mabel coverage, and let's say they just play like you know the best defense ever um, in terms of adjustments, like let's say maybe they move this guy out so you can't throw that. They have a deep third defender. Um, you know, they just do everything they can. What you can do is you, you can run the streak to the tight end. Your running back's going to be open over the middle. And then this verticals route, if you pass lead it upfield, can oftentimes clear a 30 yard cloud as well. So, this is the perfect kind of like, I guess, wrapping the trips tight end up in a concise way where you could utilize this play in a lot of different ways. Another thing you can do with this, if you want to, is let's say you're getting a lot of. Uh, let's say you're getting a lot of double Mabel coverage, man. Um, you know, you're getting a lot of double Mabel. Typically, that's going to be out of a cover two look. And you do something like this. Now you have seams on both sides. You'll see here, I can freeform up that streak against cover two, just like that on the right. And then I also can, if they're playing that cover two style, because I, because I, I re-streaked... Uh, Christian Kirk here, and I have the tight end on a streak, then what I can do, and this is very fairly specific to like if you are truly getting a lot of cover two, you wouldn't run and run this against like cover two man, but against cover two, this just crucifies cover two. And it doesn't matter if it's double Mabel or not, as you can see, super effective. So against man, you know, it might you might want to run this a little differently. If you are playing man, I do love to put a C route to the left side uh, and then you know, a couple other things you could do is you could drag Daniels and you could streak or wheel the back, kind of create some, just some different mismatches. And then you still have that coming open over the middle against man coverage. So if you know it's man, you can still run verticals. You just might want to run verticals a little differently than you would if you were playing, um, you know, if you were playing zone coverage. Because now you see, okay, now this is man. And you see here that if it's press man, this guy's going to bomb it over the middle. Okay, so then what you do, uh, real quick on the short side of the field, I did want to show you one other thing. On the short side of the field, this is actually maybe even better um, than it is on the wide side of the field. And that's because typically what people are going to do is if they're trying to defend your C route, they're going to put that guy in a third. And then they might have this guy in a middle third, and they might have this guy, um, let's say, in a 30-yard cloud or something, right, over the middle. Okay. The beauty of this is with this streak to Kirk, if you run this to the short side of the field, this uh, streak route to Christian Kirk will clear out that third, and you can just throw that to the outside just like that. So there's ways that you can kind of make minor tweaks to your verticals play, but you have to have a verticals play. And uh, I think Trips Tight End provides one of the most versatile verticals plays in the game um, because you have – the ability to do all kinds of different things with your tight end to make it super, super effective. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get more on my trips tight end, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It'll get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. Thanks for watching today's video and make sure to go sign up for the Patreon.